We are live here at the Muscal Movie Set in Muscal, Arizona, just outside Benson. There is a ribbon cutting event that's going on here, a sponsor for one of the buildings, the land and office building. And so it's a special event. I will I will be quiet and Mark Sankey, who is the front man for the Muscal Movie Set, is here to do a little introduction. And then we'll talk to some people around right here after that. Yeah. And Nick, and if we can have some of our angry beavers come up. Okay. <laughs> we'll explain who the angry beavers are in a second here. Okay. Can you get them all in the frame there, uh, Albert? We're all good. Well, thank you folks for coming out today. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is something very big for us, and, and this was a, a donation that we very much appreciate. Uh, when you think back three years ago, this place was almost bulldozed down, okay? It came uh, very, very close to being just wiped off the desert here. And at the last moment, Jake and J.J. Karchner, J.J. is standing right over there. Why don't you wave at us, J.J.? Came in and they bought the set. Not necessarily to be movie stars, but they recognized the value that this set had for promoting Western history and Western culture. And that's basically our mission statement here. And it takes a community to rebuild this set because it's not one or two buildings, it's 28 different buildings. And if you could have seen these buildings three years ago, about all of them were falling over. And we've done a lot of work to rebuild this. Uh, we're having success. We've had movies come in in the last three years. And we're proud to say we have four movies signed up for the end of this year. Now, being that it takes a community to build this, uh, we're honoring today two of our local people here that stepped up and helped us build this land office. Dina and Todd from Talk to Dina Realty and EXP Realty stepped up and gave us a very large donation so this is possible. This was at one time one of the biggest eyesores on set because there was nothing here but debris and storage area and all that type of thing. It used to be the Wells Fargo building was really close to And so they stepped up and we were to make uh, the eyesore into a very usable and practical build building here. So that's very much appreciated. Uh, up on with Dina and Todd is uh, Mick Lohman, who's on our advisory board. And he's a gentleman that connected us uh, with Dina and Todd. And then we have three of our angry beavers. Now our angry beavers are a lot of the guys that come in and work hard and do all of the renovations here. It's not because of their teeth. Smile, guys. Smiles from their teeth. It's because they gnaw through a lot of wood. And uh, it made it possible to build, this, to, to build this set and renovate the set and bring the film back into the area here. So uh, we also wanted to honor uh, a lot of the angry beavers that were here. So if you all can come up with our very fancy scissors <laughs> to cut this with. Everything's first class here at the movie set. And, uh, Dina, you can cut it right here in the middle. And we can officially open up the land office at the Mescal movie set. Dina, you're on. Okay. Uh, so thank you. On behalf of the Mescal movie set, all our volunteers in the community, thank you very much. This is going to be a big part of our set. It's already been widely used by all the productions, and we look forward to more use in the future. So, but thank you very much. We still have some time. Uh, if you'd like to go back and check some of the buildings out and such, uh, that would be great. Where's our uh, Mescal Legends, if you haven't met them? Where'd they go? Right there they are. Those are two characters, and they use the word character. Thank you for coming out, folks. Okay, we're going to talk to some people here uh, that uh, have come out for the event. In fact, I uh, have some uh, folks right here. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you. All right. Let me uh, put this mic on you, if you don't mind. I just wanted to ask you... Uh, what brings you out today and uh, who you're with? This is your wife. 
Hello. 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 All right. Uh, so tell me, uh, uh, who are, what brings you out today? Well, we're just checking out all the events, having a great time, and uh, here to support Karcher family and the what's Mistel going on here at the Mistel movie set. All right, and you guys are, are owners of the KOA in Benson, right? And we just manage the... Uh, manage the... the, the, yes, the, the all right, that's excellent. And so, um, you know, just to, when I talk to some of the people, this is a, a live broadcast with Cool FM that I'm doing, so I'm just covering the event as well. I wanted to talk to some people. What do you What do you like most about the area here, uh, Muscal Benson, when it comes to the draw? It's beautiful. The mountain ranges are stunning. The history with the, the western movies and you, you feel like you do step back in time. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it here. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just going to grab this mic here and walk along. Apologize if there's any sound there. So that's uh, just some folks that are here uh, at, the, uh, at the event that's going on. Uh, there's some you know, just taking a look around here. We've got a pretty decent turnout. And this is going on today for a bit, I believe, until about 4 o'clock. So if you want to come on out, take a walk around. It's free of charge. It's open to the public right now, the Muscal Movie Set. It's only a couple miles uh, north of I-10 off the uh, Flying J Ranch Road, J6 Ranch Road, and I should say not Flying J, I said it with a drug stop, but to the J6 Ranch Road exit, and you just come come down north a couple of miles, and that's where the movie set is. That's so. In fact, we have one of the legends here right now. Oh, you're not a legend? You're not, but you're close. You were starring in a, in a in a film that we just made with your wife, I think. She was dragging you out of a saluon playing. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, that, that, was, that happened a lot? That happens all the time. Okay. <laughs> all right. Even though I quit drinking, she says I still carouse, whatever that means. Okay. Well, maybe we can get you carousing on one of your next uh, films. That would be good. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. And so uh, the, some of the legends, I'll try to track down some more. I just ran across Emily. She uh, played a whore, actually, uh, in Tombstone. And uh, we want to catch up with her. I think I'm getting close. Sun's in my face. I can't see where I'm going. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, hi. I, excuse me. You know, we have Emily here. Emily is... She, hi, Emily. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good. You're one of the legends here. And so uh, you are currently... In a new release with Best of America on the Moscow Movie Set. So, folks, if you look for that YouTube channel or just uh, officialbestofamerica.com, you'll see Emily on the Moscow uh, video. Emily, so tell me, what is your connection to the Moscow Movie Set? And let, can I put this mic on you, please? Oh, sure. All right. Um, I've been coming out here since I was... Well, when I first got my SAG card, which was in like 92, 93, and then before that I worked in some production. I did produ production work out there. And then once I got my card, then I started getting parts out here. Gotcha. And okay. Then, yeah, and then I would work as an extra because it is an extra to work. Extra. Um, it's a right to work state. Right to work state, yeah. Wow. Right, so you can work Try and say that three times yeah. fast. <laughs> well, and so that's, uh, so, so you worked out here quite a bit. You were on mm -hmm. the, in, in the movie Tombstone. I was, and yeah. I had a lot of fun on that. I was, I was lucky enough to be Dana Delaney stand-in, so I was out here almost every day. Wow. So I got to know a lot of the actors, the actresses, the producers, all of that. I got to be part of the drama, but I tell you what, it sure is a good movie. It's well worth seeing. I've well, heard about a lot of people that haven't seen it yet, and I'm like, what? You haven't seen Tombstone? You need to see it. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. It really is. It's, and then, a, it's a classic. Yeah. And then they gave me a little part as a lady of the evening, and I was upstairs in the hotel. And when they came in and they shot a cowboy that was in bed with two women, I'm one of the women. Oh, wow. Yeah, my hair was, that was before my hair turned white. It was pulled up. 
They took my makeup off, they put the lipstick all over my face, and they smeared it like I'd been busy. And I'm like, oh, I feel so glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> and then they didn't give me any wardrobe. Really? Which really surprised me, and that was before cell phones, so I couldn't call my agent and say, hey, what'd you put me in this for, you know? <laughs> but I, I managed to cover myself up. Okay. I found the, the cowboy's handkerchief on the bed, and I grabbed it and covered up with it. And the director, George, he kept wanting me to react slower, react slower, react slower. And I said, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I never did. Oh, no. So they left, they left the scene in. It was a Disney production, so, gotcha. you know, why do that and get cut out? Right. Right? Yeah, that's right. So. Well, very good. Well, Emily, so it's nice to me. talk to you. Thank you very much it for taking nice the time. It was nice talking to you. Is there any other legends around? Here? Yes, Lynn, Lynn Steele right Lynn there. Lynn Steele, let me go speak to him. Okay. Then. I'll grab the mic and, uh, Oh yeah. you know, it's just... There we go. Emily, Got nice it. to meet you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go inside and meet Lynn Steele. Lynn! Hello, Mr. Steele. You are one of the legends here oh. at the Muscat Movie Set. Tell me uh, tell me about yourself and, and what... what uh, in fact, let me go ahead and put this mic on, if you don't mind. Sure. See if that holds on, hopefully. Uh, tell me, what movies were you in? And uh, what, uh, what, what is your connection today here? Um, well, I... I come out for the tours to, you know, wrangle, help people. And the uh, first movie I worked in out here was in 1979 for a movie called Buffalo Soldiers. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, not the Danny Glover movie. That was 97. Gotcha. But, uh, this was 79. Yeah. So you've and, been coming here a long time. Yeah. Um, the next movie I worked in was a movie called September Gun starred Robert Preston, Patty Duke, uh, Christopher Lloyd, Sally Kellerman, Jeffrey Lewis. It was uh, filmed actually in the building down the street that we call the Insane Asylum, which at the time for Tombstone was where Doc Holliday died and Wyatt came to visit him the last time. Well, that was actually a church and Sally Kellerman was a madam that ran the bar with Jeffrey Lee, no, I'm sorry, Christopher Lloyd. And uh, Robert Preston brought a nun who was Patty Duke Austin with a bunch of Indian children and the church was supposed to be for them and you have to watch the movie, see the rest. I don't <laughs> You know what's so crazy is I was actually, the one time I've been in a movie, I was an extra, and it was with Patty Duke, uh, Austin. Her son was Iron Will, and the movie was Iron Will. Oh, was cool. Back in the 93, I think, when that came out. It was 90, the winter of 92 when we were filming that, about a dog sled race. Oh, wow. That's that was fun. That was the only time. But you, you've been in a lot more, and and I was just a blur in the movie, literally, right. as well, it turns out. I've, I've been lucky. You know, I, since 1970, I've been working in productions, and it's been a lot of fun. And now that I'm retired, I get to come back out here and be a cowboy again. Well, nice. What is what is your most favorite production that you were in? Um, I'd have to say the villains are, no, let me rephrase that, haunts. Because I got to work with my two favorite actors, Slim Pickens and Jack Eagle. Wow. That well, sounds That was fun. great. That was a great guy. Well, that's good. Well, thank you, Lynn Steele. Uh, he is one of the legends here of the Muscal movie set. Come on down and see him. Uh, how late will you be here today? I think we'll be here for another hour or so. Okay, so if you're within an hour's range of this, of the Muscal movie set, which is just a couple miles north of I-10 on J6 Ranch Road, right? Yes. And, uh, and so that's where you come. And come on out. It's open for probably about another hour. Come out and meet some of the legends, including Lynn Steele here at the Moscow Movie Set. And that's going to do it for me, Brett Allen. Uh, that's uh, all. Uh, I'm going to let you all go. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you uh, tuning in here at the Moscow Movie Set. And uh, you have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. And that's all for me. Live and local on Cool FM.